Hello, I'm Billy. Today, I want to give you a product overview on our ADEC 332 delivery system. Before we start discussing the delivery system, let's first talk about the water bottle. First, I want to refer you to the waterline maintenance flyer that can be found online. The water bottle can be found at the toe of the chair on the post. Make sure the power is off to the chair before removing the water bottle. Underneath the mount, there is an O-ring. Be sure to lubricate that O-ring about once a month to ensure easy installation of the water bottle. When you fill the water bottle, be sure to add the one tablet of ICX. Once again, be sure to refer to the waterline maintenance flyer found online. To reinstall the water bottle, simply attach and tighten clockwise. Now let's talk about the delivery system. Let's begin by turning the unit on. You can find on the side of the unit a toggle switch. That toggle switch is the master power switch. Simply turn the unit on by flipping that switch up. As we continue to move down the side of the unit, the first knob we come to is your air adjustments, and then the other knobs are your water adjustments. The way these are numbered, you would start with the front at the front of the unit. The first position is one, two, three, four and they correspond with the knobs from front to back. One, two, three, four. If you need to adjust the drive air, you'll have to access the inside of the unit. Be sure to set the drive air to your handpiece manufacturer's recommendations. Do not over tighten those knobs when adjusting either the drive air or the air and water adjustments on the side. That can cause damage to the control block. As we continue to move around the back of the unit, you'll find your flush toggle. Before you can flush the unit, you have to make sure to put an empty water bottle on the chair. Replace the water bottle, remove the handpiece tubings, hold over a bucket or a sink, and then engage the flush toggle. Hold the toggle for around 30 seconds or until all the water has been removed from the system. Go ahead and replace the handpiece tubings into their correct position. On the back of the unit, you'll also find the oil collector. The oil collector is collecting the oils from the hand pieces. This should be checked weekly and replaced as needed. To remove the oil collector, simply pull on the tab located on the bottom of the oil collector. Inside, you will find a piece of gauze. Simply observe the gauze and identify if it is dirty and needs to be replaced. If this does not get replaced, it can cause your hand pieces to lose power and will not be at their peak performance. Simply replace the gauze, put new gauze in, and then reinstall the oil collector to the back of the unit. Now let's talk about the touchpad. This ADEC 332 delivery system is configured with the 300 series deluxe touchpad. At the top of the units, you'll find the auxiliary buttons. There's an auxiliary one, auxiliary two. If you choose to have something connected to those, those will also control your cuspidor if you have a cuspidor. Next, you have the light button. If you have an LED light attached to the chair or the wall or the ceiling, you can turn the light on and off by simply pressing that button. Next, you'll see an E. This E is how you enter endo mode if your hand pieces support that functionality. Just below the screen on the left hand side, you'll see an M. That M are presets for your electric handpiece RPMs. Simply press the button to toggle through the different presets for your handpiece. Next, you'll see a plus and minus. Those two buttons will allow you to toggle between RPMs and also make adjustments to other settings on the touchpad. Next, you'll see a button on the far right hand side of your touchpad with two arrows on it. It also looks like a pair of headphones. That button is to change directions forward or backwards if you're using any of the endo functionality from your handpiece. Below those buttons, you'll see the arrows to manually adjust the chair. On the left hand side, you'll find the button to the left, which moves the chair backwards. Next, the button will move the chair forwards and then chair movements up and down. Below that, you have your chair presets. Starting from left to right will be your entry exit position, your operating position, and then your x-ray position. These settings come factory preset. However, you can adjust them to fit your needs. 
On the far right hand side you'll see a P. That P is the programming button. To change any of the preset settings, simply press the P and you'll hear one beep. Move the chair to the position that you want it and then press the preset that you want it to be remembered as. You'll then hear three beeps to indicate that the settings have been saved. Now that we've talked about the touchpad, let's talk about the tray holder. The tray holder can be mounted either on the right side of the unit or the left side of the unit. The tray holder will also rotate in 360 degrees above the unit. To convert the delivery system to be used by a left-handed user, simply collect the tubings in your hand to prevent them from getting tangled in the armrest. Disengage the brake system on the delivery system and then slide the unit to the other side of the chair, release the tubings, and release the brake. Now it can be used by a left-handed user. That concludes our overview of our ADEC 332 delivery system. If you'd like to learn more, contact ADEC Customer Service or visit us online.